just before my space flight in 2008, uh, tragically, we lost James Zuhan, Scotty. And uh, his family, uh, based on James Zuhan's final wishes, tried to uh, send his ashes into space. And uh, prior to my flight, they had uh, arranged uh, for some ashes to be put on two different sounding rockets uh, that uh, these two in a row actually failed to reach space. So they were uh, you know, excited to try, and sad when they didn't work for two in a row. And I had a, a mutual friend of Chris Duhan, the son of James Duhan, uh, call me and say, hey, Richard, would you be interested and willing to take James Ashes with you to the space station? And I was basically already in quarantine in Baikonur. And I, so I told my friend, I said, well, it would be, it's frankly too late to get it on the official manifest. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how I can pull it off, but if you can get those to me here, uh, I will I will find a way. And so uh, we made three little business cards, uh, business card samples that had some of James's ashes in it. And I had already had in my flight data files a little stack of business cards that I was already that, that the Russians already knew I was going to take that I was taking with me. So I just added these three new ones in to the stack uh, and took them with me to the ISS. And with those three samples. One, I stowed away uh, privately on the space station. That's still up on the space station now. A second one, during our re-entry, one of the last procedures prior to re-entry is ejecting the habitation module. And in the airlock between the descent module and the habitation module, I put one of the three samples so we go on a spacewalk. And then the third card I brought home and gave to Chris Duhan, James's son. And uh, for many years, we actually neither one of us talked about it, much to their sadness, actually. They wanted to, of course, make press releases about it right away. My company, Space Adventures, when I explained them that this is what I had done, they actually said, we actually can't do press releases about it right now, because they were worried that, uh, that this could create a political ruse between Space Adventures and Roscosmos and our hosts, since I had sort of smuggled these things uh, on at the last minute. And, uh, and so we actually laid low about it for almost a decade. And, uh, but finally, by now, uh, we think that you know, enough time has passed, and uh, frankly, uh, those seats haven't been available for many years, uh, that uh, obviously nothing, nothing bad has happened, uh, and so it's okay to talk about it now. Excellent. So now is the first time that we've learned that James Doohan is... is uh, that, uh, that James Doohan is living now on board the space station, uh, and will be you know, as long as the station is up in space. Awesome.